Red Tree Turner from Now Kids. Uh, the headliner tonight, uh, she's, she's probably one of the funniest comedians in all of Utah. Uh, if she's gonna knock out the park. I need you to give her a big round of applause. Melissa Monroe, everybody! Give her a round of applause! <laughs> so that's gonna be a fun little journey for us. Uh, my name is Melissa Malo. I don't know how to dress myself. I thought this shirt would be cute, but it's only cute for taking selfie pictures. <laughs> it says selfie backwards, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. I had a rough day this morning. I watched as my last little sliver of hope went down the drain in the shower. I just stood there drinking my coffee. Watched it go. Yes, I drink coffee in the shower because I'm a multitasker. <laughs> and we all know wine is for the tub, right? <laughs> Who takes a bath sober? <laughs> it's a waste of water, you know. We've had a very dry winter. <laughs> Eco conscious about that. <laughs> it wasn't hope, it was soap. <laughs> I don't have plenty of soap, so don't get too close to me. <laughs> my day job is hell right now I work with a bunch of idiots who call in with the most ridiculous diseases and my boss lets them I can't come in today I have acid knee flux <laughs> I can't walk it hurts another one called in with uh, carpal toenail syndrome <laughs> Funny thing is, I work at a hospital and you'd think they could maybe use the WebMD and realize these aren't real problems. The only person I get along with at my work is the work pervert. Every job has one. I know your guys' job have a work pervert. I think the only reason I get along with them is uh, I buy a lot of cheap bras, okay? And, uh, these who double deanies have escaped many abroad. <laughs> Gotta go for the high quality stuff, ladies, because, you know, I'm working with work pervert and my bra strap breaks, okay? Doesn't matter who you are, what size they are. Any woman, the second your bra strap breaks, you instantly have to go T-Rex arms. <laughs> like, nobody's gonna know what happened, right? I just, I gotta finish this email and then I'm gonna go on break. <laughs> oh, the phone's ringing, oh no. Hello? <laughs> I'm telling you, spend a little extra money, get the high quality stuff. My big sisters aren't allowed to watch uh, the National Geographic channel anymore either. They get dreams about roaming free. <laughs> Horrible to be a woman, you guys. Treat your women well because just getting dressed for us is a challenge. I do have one sports bra, though, that I always wear when I'm really hungover. But it gives me, like, that uniboob. <laughs> so everybody can tell when I go into work, it looks like a sideways shark fin, you know? <laughs> Had a rough night, huh, last night, Melissa? Shut up! Why is it so bright in here? It's a good way to warn people that I'm hungover. <laughs> I don't like wearing bras, but I'm at an age where I have to either wear bras or knee pads. <laughs> oh, it just happens, you guys. Gravity is not your friend as you age. So I, uh, I have been trying to date. It's not going very well. I realize there's a lot of bitter guys out there. I thought women are supposed to be the bitter ones, you know? And I was out with this guy and he's like, Oh, Melissa, I know about you women. You got tiny little brains in your boobs that make you crazy. It's like, oh my God, that's the silliest thing I ever heard. Then my boob brain was like, he's on to us. <laughs> we must inform girl headquarters immediately. <laughs> that's actually true though, guys. We do have little brains in our boobs and they communicate with you telepathically. <laughs> that's how we get you to buy us drinks in bars. <laughs> Jack and Coke, that's my drink. <laughs> There's no reason to be bitter though, you guys. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Big, sexy fish. But there's also a lot of carp. <laughs> Swim past those. 
I can't really be as promiscuous as I'd like to be, though, because I'm a product of the Utah public education system. <laughs> so I didn't know what an STD is, you know, let alone how to prevent one. I thought a hernia was sexually transmitted for, like, three months. <laughs> that bastard! How could he do this to me? <laughs> oh, he made me help him move a couch. <sighs> So, uh, I like reality television. You guys into that? Yeah. Hell <laughs> <One> of person. <laughs> <One stuff. laughs> but, you know, that 19 kids and counting lady, she's real creepy. There's a video going on uh, around the internet where she's teaching her adult daughter how to kiss. <laughs> this is a lady who's had 19 children, okay? I think she needs to teach her adult daughter how to use a condom. <laughs> maybe birth control. Maybe not have 19 kids. Why would you have 19 kids? What does that do to your body? I mean, vaginas are beautiful. Don't listen to Jason. <laughs> or just wonderful portal of life, right? You don't have to show it off like that, Mrs. Duggar. You don't have to <laughs> having 19 kids. <laughs> What does it even look like after that? She must have to like swaddle it up around her body. <laughs> Was that your baby? No, this is my vagina. <laughs> I've had 19 kids. My lady is stretched out to the floor now. It makes childbirth extremely easy. It's just like a little slide. <laughs> and anytime it rains, I don't need an umbrella. I can just pull it up. It's like a little swim cap. Kids <laughs> counting. I just see her as bragging. That's all I see it as. <laughs> Next week, the Duggars go camping. Come on, Mama's got a tin man right here. <laughs> Ooh, it kind of tickles when you zip up the door. <laughs> I know that made it weird, huh? <laughs> it did. Yes. <laughs> I can't help it. I don't understand the Duggars. <laughs> I should. I grew up in Utah. I've never been Mormon, so having a lot of kids shouldn't be that weird. But putting them on TVs. Oh, anyway. We're, we won't go there. It'll just lead to more tent jokes. <laughs> Let's go back to dating, my horrible dating life. I don't know how to date you guys, okay? I was raised by my dad. I don't really know how to be a girl. He brought home women's magazines for me to read. So this is like my experience. I know it from women's magazines and sneaking and watching porn on cable when I was little, okay? So I didn't really know what to expect. I thought when you wanted sex, you just had to order a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Call somebody to fix the cable, you know? <laughs> I don't know the big problem with porn either because if you watch porn before you have sex, you're never gonna wanna have sex. I didn't want to. I was very pleasantly surprised when I finally lost my virginity somewhere in my mid-twenties. I was like, that's it? We don't have to use the trampoline? <laughs> the circus ponies are going to be very upset. <laughs> and that midget orphan is going to be very disappointed. <laughs> We're going to put him on suicide watch. <laughs> I don't want Jason getting that orphan funeral ever. <laughs> Why would you say orphan funeral? <laughs> Why? It is so sad. Oh my goodness. <sighs> How about that text messaging, huh, you guys? <laughs> Best thing to happen to the passive aggressive since the post it notes. <laughs> Lots of ways to mix up our communication. You know what I love, though, is that sex date. That's some fun stuff. When you start sending the naked pictures to each other, you know we all just collect them and trade them with our friends. <laughs> They're like modern-day pogs. <laughs> wow, nice tatas. Look at this wiener. <laughs> I did get a wiener picture once next to a 50-cent piece. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. I think it was for perspective. <laughs> it's probably Photoshop. <laughs> But then he wanted a picture of me. He wanted a picture of my lady business. And I was like, I can't take a picture of that. It's an innie, right? <laughs> Except for the Duggars, right? Just like, spread. <laughs> no more tent jokes, I'm sorry. 
But I'm like, it's an innie. I can't get a picture of that. And then I'm like, oh, wait, my belly button is also an innie, right? All I got to do is stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> get a little red Sharpie draw on the top. <laughs> Told you I was a natural redhead. <laughs> totally works. Take pictures like that. Don't send out pictures of the real stuff. You never know where it ends up. I couldn't take a picture of the real stuff right now anyway. I've been single a while. When I get dressed, it looks like I'm trying to smother a Palmerian in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I've just given up on shaving. It's not a Mormon bush, though. It's a cute little yappy dog. <sighs> I'm just play praying for alopecia. <laughs> Never have to shave again. <sighs> I'm not gonna pick up, pick on old people while I was up here because we did all those old people jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the elderly actually have the highest number of uh, STDs on the rise. They've just stopped using protection. I mean, why not? Go for it. They made it that far. If they can get everything working again, you know, give Grandpa some glory stories to tell at the family reunion. <laughs> All you kids, gather around. Let Grandpa tell you about the old blue hair he met down at the Denny's. <laughs> she had beautiful blue eyes and blue eyebrows to match. The things she could do when she took her teeth out. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, you're scaring the children. That's okay, though. I'm actually looking for an older gentleman right now. Very old. With a, you know heart situation, hopefully. <laughs> I'm not going to use him for his money. I'm not that kind of girl. I'm just going to need a liver soon. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's getting a little pickled, if you know what I mean. I'm thinking, you know, what a great way for us to be together forever. <laughs> You'll always be inside of me, honey. <laughs> oh, that got weird again, huh? <laughs> I did just get a credit card working on my Americanism and I found out that you can get credit cards with personalized pictures on them like of your wedding or your newborn baby so I got a credit card with a picture on it that's going to remind me of where I'm going to be if I keep spending imaginary money so I got a credit card with a picture on it of me giving a guy a blowjob behind a dumpster <laughs> while he slips me a 20. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, I'll charge it. Ooh, I don't want it to cost me that much. <laughs> it's a great way to budget, you guys. <laughs> <sighs> Things are going a little better for me though. I uh, recently started internet dating after watching that show, To Catch a Predator. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, this is so easy. All I have to do is lie about my age. <laughs> I can pull it off too. I lie like the government. <laughs> of course I'm 13. I led a rough life and developed early. <laughs> they fall for it right up until the bedroom because I'm way too dominant in bed. Of course I'm a virgin! Now shut up and put the mask on! <laughs> Stop crying! It's a little favor I like to do for the youth of America. Those guys are never hooking up with a 13-year-old again. <laughs> oh, Ogden, you have been fantastic. I uh, appreciate you admiring my wonderful outfit that I put together just for you guys. Woo! Even though it looks like my uh, camel toe is trying to nibble on my muffin top. 